Hi, I'm Christy McDonald, and here's what's coming up on One Detroit Arts and Culture. It's all about the concert of colors. The Midwest's biggest diversity in arts festival, 28 years running, is happening this week in Metro Detroit. The history behind it with founder Ismail Ahmed, plus see performances and hear how the artists are connecting with the audience in a new way. It's all ahead on One Detroit. From Delta faucets to bare paint, Masco Corporation is proud to deliver products that enhance the way consumers all over the world experience and enjoy their living spaces. Masco, serving Michigan communities since 1929. Support for this program provided by the Cynthia and Etzel Ford Fund for Journalism at Detroit Public TV. The Kresge Foundation. Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan. The DTE Foundation is a proud sponsor of Detroit Public TV, among the state's largest foundations committed to Michigan-focused giving. We support organizations that are doing exceptional work in our state. Visit DTEFoundation.com to learn more. Business Leaders for Michigan. Dedicated to making Michigan a top 10 state for jobs, personal income, and a healthy economy. Nissan Foundation. Ally. The Fred A. and Barbara M. Erb Family Foundation. And viewers like you. Hi, I'm Christy McDonald, and welcome to One Detroit. Thanks so much for being with me. You know, COVID has changed so much in our lives. I'm doing the show from home. We can't gather for concerts, dance performances, or shows. So we're bringing all of the events you're missing to you with this show, One Detroit Arts and Culture. And this week, it is all about the Concert of Colors. For 28 years, the Concert of Colors has been Metro Detroit's premier diversity-themed musical festival. It happens every summer over a span of several days, 152 arts organizations, a free festival for everyone to enjoy diverse sounds and performances. A big highlight each year is musician Don Was and his all-star review. So this year we can't gather in person, but this week starting October 7th through 10th, you'll be able to stream the Concert of Colors every night on Detroit Public Television and WDET Public Radio. It's a chance for us all to enjoy the music we've been missing. So we'll have the lineup for you on this show. Plus, you can always head to OneDetroitPBS.org and we will have the details for you there. So just ahead, you'll hear from Concert of Colors founder Ishmael Ahmed, plus performances from Last Gasp Collective and Don Was All-Star Review with Tasha Owens. Then, artist Ziao Dungwei. It is all coming up. But we're going to start first off with Will Glover and Ishmael Ahmed. We're here to talk about the Concert of Colors and really quick for those of us who are uninitiated, um, just tell us what the concert is, how to get started, and you know what the whole idea behind it is. Well, the Concert of Colors has its roots going way back here in Detroit. Actually, as part of an international movement called Rock Against Racism. Uh, I've been doing a concert for causes for years and uh, was part of a group that had focused on bringing music into communities where racial justice questions were a big deal. The Concert of Colors was launched 28 years ago and it started off small and it was a one day event of the five major communities of color, but it's now grown to include everyone uh, and it's six days long this year. Uh, it's in almost all of the major arts venues usually, although this year, because of COVID, that won't be the case. Uh, and it draws somewhere between 30 and 50,000 people. It brings in artists from all over the world, but also focuses very much on the talent and the communities of Detroit. And it's not just music, it's uh, educational activities like the Forum on Community, Culture and Race, and a whole set of other things, children's stuff, and I can go on and on. But it is a major thing in Detroit, like the Techno Festival or the Jazz Festival. Uh, and our mission is very much still the same thing, uh, to bring communities together, to celebrate our different cultures, and to look at the questions of justice racism and uh, harmony.
So obviously, as you you know alluded to, this year hasn't been normal for anyone, and I can only imagine the difficulty that uh, that presents when you're trying to put together a week long co uh, concert. So was it more difficult this year to get artists to participate? Yeah, in fact, frankly, we lost a couple key artists as a result of it who uh, dropped out at the last few minutes. Uh, but overall, I think this is going to be an interesting pivot because uh, in the sense that people who watch this will be all over the world this time. You know, we were going to cancel, and then uh, Larry Bransky at the DIA said, well, let's go to kind of more mainstream TV and radio and see what we can do. And we've had a long relationship with WTVS, who are great to work with, and also WDET, Detroit Public uh, uh, Radio. And so what we did is talk to them, and we came to an agreement so we won't be doing the kind of usual streaming that uh, most festivals are doing. Uh, this is going to be a big deal. And it's enhanced because we have relationships with world music festivals across the planet who are all going to be streaming and working with us. I just heard today that the Kennedy Center will be sending out notices uh, across the United States. Uh, we're talking to Quest TV about uh, including the Don Was review. It will be available to millions of people. So the good part is that, uh, it, that many, many more people will get to be part of the Concert Colors. And also view the music of Detroit, which is really important. Almost all our artists are Detroiters. But the bad thing is we won't be able to do it together. And there's something lost by by that, especially when you bring people of all colors and nationalities and sexual preferences together to really enjoy each other and come to know each other uh, through celebration. And so that's kind of missed, uh, but I think we will have an awful good program. Why not take the year off, um, maybe to recoup, re-strategize? Why, why is it so important that the concert continue through, you know, times like these? Well, that's exactly right. Times like these. Uh, the world is in turmoil and America is in turmoil. And the question of uh, racial justice and equality are major questions now. And the place of cultures and all that is important. So having the concert of colors, which has always stood for all of that, uh, and uh, brought together the cultures of the world to celebrate together is really important this year, more than ever. And so we've struggled to do it and it hasn't been easy. Sometimes I feel like a dentist filling teeth, you know, uh, cavities just keep popping up. Um, we had a little bit of a COVID scare uh, at the DIA. Um, they are very, very careful and very worried about taking care of the people who come there and work there. And uh, there was a person who had COVID and they had to do tracing and they sanitized the entire wing that we're in. And so uh, we actually were off for a while. We were not going to do it. And then after the tracing, we found that there was that person had been nowhere near there. And uh, they took the time to sanitize. So we had to change our shooting schedule and uh, call back all of the artists. And within that, uh, Roy Ayers, who is 80 years old, just didn't feel comfortable coming. So we lost his performance. But well, we found a really cool group out of Kalamazoo, Michigan, uh, called the Last Gasp Collective that are right in that vein. Hip hop, uh, soul, jazz, and even a little classical music. Great voices, all African-American groups, uh, young people, uh, very cool. Facing your problems, we ain't got nothing in common. Approach for cost and blessing from the shaman glass in my window clearing out and never. Beauty always finds a way to blossom. Brown always been beautiful as autumn. Uh, if people want to know more about this, go to concertofcolors.com. The whole schedule is there, information about the bands, what time, how to stream, 
or how to watch it on TVS. Because you can watch it on your TV set or you can listen to it on WDET. Detroit Public Television partnered up with the Concert of Colors to be the production team and help bring all of these amazing performances into our homes. We shot performances over three days. It was a heck of a production. So here's a look at just one of them, a performance from Last Gasp Collective. Singing and doing what you want to, want to, and you don't ever come through, come through, enjoy your that I do for you, baby, what am I getting into, come through, who do, really thought you, mm -mm. it's true, I'm disappointed, boo, I guess forever, don't, saying and doing what you want to, want to, and you don't ever come through, come through, enjoy your that I do for you, baby, what am I getting into, come through, who do, really thought you, All of the artists involved in the Concert of Colors are grateful to have this connection with the audience, even though it's a little bit different. Will Glover talked with Ziao Dengwei. She plays the Erhu, which is a Chinese violin. For people who are unfamiliar with the uh, Erhu, can you just give us a quick explanation as to what it is? For, for instance, there's two strings. 
So when you think it's Chinese violin, people think violin and compare with the Western violin. So we have a two strings, that's a big difference with first string and the other big difference is Arhu doesn't have fingerboard. The third one is the Arhu have only two strings and the bow is a track in between these two strings. So we play, we call it inside and outside. What does it mean to you to be part of a now 28 year old tradition of bringing music and cultures from all over the world together? Oh, you know, music, what music do is bring people together. It's all about people. So this concert color, all kind of diverse, and you know, you know Mr. Ishmael produced uh, this, he's just such a wonderful, you know, uh, his music program is so great. And so whatever he puts on, it's just so diverse. And yeah, bring the people together. So I, I am very happy to be included uh, in this event because I am from other country, as you couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I feel um, welcomed and I feel um, I can, you know, um, really connect with people from everywhere, especially this year, like, we will be uh, more have more view, viewers to be able to share this with. So I'm really really happy. Obviously, this is not a normal year because it's it's hard for us to be able to get together. And I'm sure as an artist, it's weird not having that connection with with an audience. So how have you changed your you know approach? What have you been thinking about going through all this stuff? As a musician, we you know we we're never bored. You know, I, 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 outside the world, don't matter too much for us. We just practice, we just enjoy ourselves. And at this time, I feel like more um, blessed to be a musician. For myself, I feel like I'm enjoying my time working on my stuff. Secondly, we can share this more because people need more music at this time. So, um, you know, even just play a piece, uh, make people forget about the trouble for two minutes, you know, it's worth it. So, and with all the internet, all that uh, things, we, we are able to share with more people. So very lucky. I always, yeah. I'm always really grateful to be a musician and now it's more than ever. What would you say to an artist who's getting started or may have gotten started and stalled out by the pandemic? What would you say to encourage them or what words of advice would you have for someone who's in that pursuit right now? In any time of our life, first thing first is be truthful to your heart. Go with what your heart tells you to go. And sometimes it looks like difficult or it's impossible. Well, what, what do you got to lose? Just try it. The country isn't just going through a pandemic. There's a lot of div division when it comes to the United States' history with racism and the political climate right now. Do you think that things like Concert of Colors are a way to really, I guess, bridge those gaps and, and truly bring people together, even if, like you said, it's only for you know the length of a song? Music. And art are so powerful, it's sometimes beyond our imagination. So I just want to share a very, very short story how powerful it is. I've been to a uh, old soldiers reunion uh, celebration. So I went there, um, those are Korean War veterans. So they were, there's a guy, um, so I play the song, you know, I play the song in the event, it's with my art and nobody know what, what that is, right? So I play a song. After I play the song, and a guy come talk to me very nice. Also, it touched my heart. I am so I love the music you play. So uh, it turns out, and later other people tell me said this guy was the Korean War veteran. He hates Chinese. He never talked to Chinese before. So he um, he changed it after that. Wow. So that was a very powerful story for me to to think about. Bring people that together is... because sometimes the music you just love the music right no matter where you come from it 
and doesn't you have doesn't have to speak the language. That's why it's an international uh, international language. It's music. <laughs> And the Concert of Colors broadcast starts on Wednesday, October 7th and runs through Saturday, October 10th, right here on Detroit Public Television and WDET Radio. So here is the broadcast lineup for you. For more information on the lineup and the Concert of Colors, when you can see everything, just head to our website at OneDetroitPBS.org. And we are going to leave you with one last performance from Don Was All-Star Review, along with Tasha Owens. So enjoy the Concert of Colors this week, and I will see you next time on One Detroit Arts and Culture. Take care. <laughs> Sun gonna shine, shine, shine on me one day. Gonna shine, shine, shine on me one day. Wind gonna rise, rise, rise. Oh, the breeze will wave. Look here, Don. I got the same old blues again. Same, same, same old blues again. I got, I got the same old blues again. Yeah. One of these days, one of these days. Dark star will rise and blow, blow, blow the blues away. Same old, same old, same old blues again. Oh, baby, I'm tired. My back to a man. I don't think it hurt me. I said, I'm tired, I'm tired, I'm tired. I'm tired of you being on oh, my back to a man. That's right now. The sunshine on me. Cause I got, I got, I got, I got the same old blues again. Same, 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 same old blues again. Same, 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 same old blues again. Hey, why don't you play something for me? Yeah!
You can find more at OneDetroitPBS.org or subscribe to our social media channels and sign up for our One Detroit newsletter. From Delta faucets to bare paint, Masco Corporation is proud to deliver products that enhance the way consumers all over the world experience and enjoy their living spaces. Masco, serving Michigan communities since 1929. Support for this program provided by the Cynthia and Etzel Ford Fund for Journalism at Detroit Public TV. The Kresge Foundation. Community Foundation for Southeast Michigan. The DTE Foundation is a proud sponsor of Detroit Public TV, among the state's largest foundations committed to Michigan-focused giving. We support organizations that are doing exceptional work in our state. Visit DTEFoundation.com to learn more. Business Leaders for Michigan. Dedicated to making Michigan a top 10 state for jobs, personal income, and a healthy economy. Nissan Foundation. Ally. The Fred A. and Barbara M. Erb Family Foundation. And viewers like you.